Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today we're going to talk a little about Google Maps or Google Places and explain the process in claiming your company's listing. If you can successfully claim your listing, it gives you the ability to edit all of the information such as company name, website address, opening hours and even the ability to change the marker location on the map itself. So if you're in the process of improving your business's online marketing presence, then it's important to take advantage of Google Maps by claiming and then optimising your listing. It only takes about half an hour and it's something that you can go back to and update whenever you need to. So before you get started, you'll need to have what is called a Google account. If you don't have one, it only takes a few minutes to register and it's completely free. Simply go to google.co.uk or .com forward slash accounts, new account and follow the simple steps. So once you're logged into your Google account, um, we want to find our business listing on Google Maps or Google Places. So let's hypothetically say that I'm the Costa Coffee rugby manager, or maybe I'm the web designer acting on their behalf if I'm making the uh, rugby Costa Coffee a new website. First thing I want to do is locate my listing. So let's head over to uh, Google Maps and let's try finding it. Costa, ooh, Costa Coffee rugby Warwickshire okay so here's the uh, the listing that I want to claim Costa Coffee and I can see from looking at the listing that this uh, isn't a verified business owner listing if it was there'd be a little green tick here and it would say so so Costa Coffee head office or even the, the store itself hasn't actually claimed this Google Maps listing they're simply looking at the uh, default information that uh, Google has acquired um, you know, which is probably the majority of 95% of all businesses listed on uh, on Google Maps. So as I look down the listing, I can see that the uh, address is fairly basic. Uh, there's no website address, no email address. There's no description for the store. There's no opening hours. Um, and I could generally uh, improve the listing by adding a lot more information or clarifying information that's uh, currently not there. So again, ensuring that I'm logged in, I'm going to uh, click this uh, business owner text here to start the process of editing and then claiming the listing. So as we go through to the next page, obviously we can edit the uh, listing or suspend it. Now in this case, I want to uh, edit the listing because I want to uh, add some information. And by editing the listing, um, it will automatically add it into my Google Places account once I've uh, verified that I'm uh, entitled to, uh, to edit the listing. So, uh, let's proceed. And like I said, I'm just hypothetically the uh, Costa Coffee Rugby uh, manager. Costa Coffee and Rugby is uh, the sort of closest Costa Coffee to me, to where I live. Uh, or I could just be a uh, web designer acting on the behalf of, uh, of this company. So, now that we've asked to edit the information, we're going to uh, request our changes. So, yeah. Uh, United Kingdom, Costa Coffee, Street of Jess. I could probably put Town uh, Town Centre in there. Ooh, if I can type Town Centre, Rugby, County's missing for some reason. Warwickshire, got an incomplete postcode, so uh, CV21, uh, 3BG, phone number's correct. Um, I don't know what the uh, Rugby Costa Coffee email is, but let's just pretend we do. Rugby at Costa .co.uk and uh, even though Rugby Costa Coffee Rugby doesn't have its own website you know we could always put in the uh, website address to the sort of main main brand in the UK could be some special offers and things on there that uh, people may be interested in um, yeah description we could write a little something about the store um, great store located on the high street in the town centre Category is quite uh, useful, particularly for uh, you know for SEO. So let's uh, start typing coffee, and yeah, we can select coffee shop there. So again, we're adding information to our listing that wasn't uh, wasn't previously there. As we uh, make our way down, um, we can start to fill out a lot more information, but we'll just uh, sort of skim through it for the process of keeping this tutorial quick. Might want to specify uh, specify the opening hours. You know, like I can control all that, which will appear on the listing once it's been activated. Payments accepted, I could tick some of those. 
I could perhaps add some photographs of the exterior or interior of our of our coffee shop. And even in the uh, odd situation, if we had a, a video, for example, we might want to attach that and, and, add, that, and add that to our uh, listing as well. Now, what's also uh, useful um, is the fact that if the... Um, if the marker pin isn't in the right ex uh, right location, for example, which it definitely isn't here, we can actually uh, fix the uh, the marker location. Now, one of the great advantages of uh, taking uh, taking the time to do this is that if people are trying to manually navigate their way um, to the store, <clears throat> say on their on their iPhone, for example, having the uh, the pin dropped exactly on the right building will help people to uh, to navigate uh, navigate to your store. So it should be about here. So what's also quite useful is we can switch to the satellite view. And we could literally drop our pin right onto the building that I know is Costa Coffee in Rugby. And we could push save. And as you can see, that's updated our map listing. Okay, so once I've uh, added all the information that I want to, Worth bearing in mind that you don't have to try and do everything in one go. Once you've claimed the listing, it will be available to edit um, any time you like through your Google Places account. So we're going to push Submit. Now, you may be thinking up to this stage, well, what's stopping me from claiming and editing anyone's business? Now, obviously, this is a stage now where Google require proof that you're the um, verified person that can act on behalf of Costa Coffee in Rugby. And this is the sort of final step that you need to roll out your changes and, like I said, claim the listing into your Google account. Now, Google already know the telephone number of Costa Coffee Rugby. It was already part of the listing. And like the majority of Google Maps listings, they do have the phone number. Now, what they're essentially saying is that there's two ways that we can um, validate uh, our information and that we're entitled to act on behalf of Costa Coffee and Rugby. Now, obviously, uh, I'm not entitled to act on behalf of Costa Coffee and Rugby. We're just... Uh, using this as uh, as an example. So the only methods that are available to me are to uh, call by phone on this phone number here, which is obviously the, uh, the phone number for the store. So obviously only somebody in the store is going to be able to authorize this, or by SMS. So if we were to select the phone option, which is the uh, recommended option, what's going to happen the moment I push finish is that Google's going to call Costa Coffee and Rugby. So right now, the phone will be ringing in Costa Coffee and Rugby. Someone's going to answer that call. And if you're the business owner, so you've pushed the button, your phone's going to ring, and you're going to have the, an automated Google voice call you and leave with you a uh, four, five, or six digit PIN number. So when that call happens, it will, it will literally ring a few seconds after you push that submit button. Grab a pen and paper and just make sure that you note down that number that the electronic American accented voice is going to give you. Now once you're given the PIN number, you simply have to enter it in the box provided. So you can see in my Google Places I've got a few businesses claimed already. If I was in Costa Coffee right now, or let's say the manager was uh, expecting the phone call, they would grab that phone number, I would enter it here, push go, and that would verify the listing for me. Once it's verified, so let's just use perhaps um, the Career Group as an example, you'll see that I have access to see stat uh, statistics and I can also edit the listing moving forward. So let's just say I wanted to change some information on the Career Group listing, the description, email address, website address, um, even the fact that we're moving offices soon to Rugby, so I'm gonna have to come back on here and edit the address once again. I can edit all of this information. I see here I've added some videos. We've got some videos that sort of allow uh, people to meet the web design and SEO team. Any changes I want to make, I can simply push submit. And each time I do that, it's not going to require verification again because I've already verified it the once and it will simply make the changes for you. Okay, so that's how you uh, find, claim and edit your listing. Like I said, once you've claimed it, it's inside your Google Places account each time, each time that you wish to make any changes. Thank you for watching this week's web design video blog. If you have any questions, comments, or contributions, please leave them on our supporting blog post.